Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce World. So guys, have you ever had a requirement to navigate between a flow from a lightning web component? If the answer is yes, so this video is for you guys. So guys, in today's video, we'll be creating a custom lightning web component and in that component, we'll be having next and previous button. And on the click of next and previous button, we'll be navigating between a flow. So it is going to be a screen flow, of course. And on the click of the next button, we'll be on the next screen on that screen flow and the click on the previous button will be back on the previous screen. Okay. And guys, we'll be using the lightning navigations uh, for flow uh, for this task. So let's start today's video, guys. I'm Kapil, your host, and you're watching Salesforce Bolt. All right, guys, let's start today's video. So basically, first we'll create uh, next and previous button in Lightning Web Component. Then we'll put that Lightning Web Component in a flow. And using that Lightning Web Component, we will navigate between the flow screen. So in this uh, tutorial, you will learn like how you can create a Lightning Web Component for flow, how you can add it into a flow, how you can create different sections in flow, and how you may navigate between uh, flow screens using the flow navigation event, okay? So these will be the things you will be learning here in this video. So let's start with the component part, okay? So guys, I have already created an empty component here and yep. So you just have to make sure like uh, you implement this lightning.flow screen uh, as a target in the meta.xml file. And make sure like uh, the component is is exposed as true okay now first let's go to HTML part so guys in HTML basically we'll be creating uh, two buttons only just the next and previous button okay so let me just create it very quickly so we will use lightning button mm, let's Let's name it back and on click of it, we will use handle back. Okay. Let's give some space between buttons. All right. And copy this one to here as well. Okay, let's change the label to next and the uh, on click function will be handle next here. Okay, and also for this next button, let's change the variant of the button. So let's make it as a brand. Okay, so this will be the only thing in HTML. Now let's move to the JavaScript part. So guys, in the JavaScript part, first we have to uh, first we have to import the flow navigation events so in this video we'll be using the flow navigation back event and flow navigation next event there are a few other events as well like the pause screen event and uh, finish event so basically pause screen is not going to work in a screen flow uh, pause event so pause event is not going to work on a screen flow so we'll be using the next and back event here so let's import them first so import flow navigation back event and uh, back and next of these two are needed from lightning uh, the flow support should come up automatically here okay it is not popping up automatically so let's type it all right, guys. So these will be the events uh, which we have imported from the flow support. Okay. Now we will create two function here. So handle next. Okay. And then we will just call the event to make the flow on the next screen to uh, to navigate it to the next screen on the previous screen. We'll just create a simple event. Let's say navigate next event is equal to new flow navigation next event. 
all right and then we'll do this dot this this dot dispatch event okay and paste it here now let's quickly copy this function and convert it to handle back let's make it and also change this so guys we have created two functions here to check handle next and handle back but uh, there's one more thing like what if you are already on the last screen so in that case next should not be working there right because you will be getting an error if you will hit next on the uh, if you will call this uh, navigate next function on the last screen so for that we have to check first like what is the available function so for that we have to implement one more thing so let's add api here and here we will add api available actions so this available actions basically will give us the available actions for flow uh, for the current screen okay so let's say if you are on a last screen so the next uh, will not be available as an available option okay so this will basically return all the option like next previous finish pause resume so we can access all the options using this available actions okay now you just have to create a simple if condition here so we'll do if this dot available actions dot find find action so if it find action and if the action is next so if next action is available only in that case this uh, handle next uh, dispatch event should work okay and the same goes for back as well and also like uh, if you are doing like pause and resume functionality also so you can just check pause and resume also using the same available action here so let's put it back so back is available only in that case it should trigger this dispatch event and if next is available only in that case it should trigger the next event okay so guys this will be the code of our component okay let's deploy it now quickly okay meanwhile it is getting deployed okay it is already deployed let's open the default org and create a quick flow there okay this is my default org so let's create a flow all right Let's create a new one. Screen flow. And here, guys, like as this is only for testing purpose, so I will just creating three screens with some static uh, properties. So let's create a screen one. And uh, so first, guys, we'll add this action here because what I'm planning is I'm planning to have my component on the left side and the screen on the right side. Okay so let's add a section here and let's make it 3 by 12 and 9 by 12 okay now on the m on the left side we will add the component which was lwc for flow and on the right side let's just add a text display text the screen one text and let's say I'm on screen one okay that's look good let's give the name here as well screen one and this also so let's name it LWC screen one okay so this was our first screen let's create two more screens here so we'll follow the same process 
we'll add section then we will add column in the section and make it 3 by 12 and 9 by 12 let's add component now lwc for flow and text display text let's name it uh, screen to text I'm on screen to LWC screen to and let's name it screen to okay let's save let's create another one So we'll follow the same process, section, add column, now add the component and guys uh, this can be also useful like when you need a vertical navigation in a flow. So you can also keep uh, these kind of section in between them. Okay, display text, so let's name it. A screen three text. I'm on screen three. I'll see screen three and a screen three here as well. So we are having three screens here and one lightning web component. So basically, it will be a new lightning web component on each screen. And let's name it uh, LWC with flow. Okay, this should be good now. Let's run it. All right, guys. So on the left side, you may notice the LWC component, which is containing next and back button. And on the right side, we are having the flow itself on and we are having the header and footer as well so if you need to remove the footer so you may do that because you are already having that back and next action on your lwc so now guys if i will click on next so you see i am on screen one right now when i will click on next so it says i am on screen two because like flow navigate from screen one to two and if i will click next again so it will navigate to screen 3. Now guys, this is the last screen. You may notice the finish button here and the back button or next button. Sorry, the next button is missing from here. And here also like if you will click on next, so nothing will happen because you are already on the last screen. And the same goes with back as well. So if you are on the first screen, so the back button will also not be working. All right. So guys, this was a way through which you may navigate between flow. And... Uh, so this was not, not the actual example what I was going to explain for today. Actually, I was looking for a way to navigate uh, between any screen. Like let's say if you can go for from screen 1 to screen 3, three dire directly okay, or maybe from screen 2 to screen 5 directly. But uh, like as the flow only provide the navigate next event which can you know just go to one step further or one step back. So that's why I was not able to, you know, uh, create that example. But yeah, I thought like navigation uh, can also be a good example. So let me know, like if you find any useful uh, resource or example to navigate flow screens, I mean, uh, not limited to a single step. Okay. So let me know if you find something related to that. And guys, uh, like always, I'll be having the code and the screenshot also on the on my blog which is salesforcecode.com so if you if you need the code just directly go to my blog and feel free to use it as per your requirement so that it is for today if you like today's video subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching